Okay, so we'll get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Coffee Talk. And since we, um, you know, we had a webinar this month, we're starting Tidy to University in October 1st, but we also had this, um, you know, really cool thing that we're doing in the month of October. The, a time when we have this beautiful little window where we can concentrate on stuff that we know we're not gonna get to in November because things kind of change during that time. Even if you're taking TTU, when November comes and December, there are certain things that get, that get put on the back burner during this time of year because there's so many other things that are coming in and, and nobody can get it all done. Um, organizationally gifted in the world, they absolutely um, regularly put things on the back burner during this time of year that, you know, maybe they get to, like those people that unscrew their switch plates and clean behind them, or those people that take the little, um, like a toothpick and clean the little slats in between screws and things, they don't do it during this time of year. They say, oh, you know what? I'm just going to let those screws madcap during this time of year and just see what happens in, the, in those little spaces. And I'm not going to care that much. Or, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, definitely at this time of year, people are not pulling the refrigerators out and cleaning underneath them. There's certain things that don't matter that much because there's a lot of other things that are going on this time of year. So, um, let's see. Mary Beth said, I've never heard. I have. I've heard people that do, did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I do when I paint? This is a, um, it's just, you know, something for free. When I paint, I take the paint chip that I painted that wall with that has all the information on it and I tape it in the back side of the switch plate in the room that I painted. And then this way, if I decide that I want to keep that color and I go to paint again, it won't be an issue for me to just go to whatever paint store I got and get it. Or if I just need a small container of it because, you know, I, I don't have any more and I need some for, you know, touch-ups or something, I know exactly what color that is. And I put that on the inside of every switch plate that I, um, now sometimes if I don't remember it, like until later, I'm like, oh no, I don't have that, you know, that thing, then I'll paint the inside of it. Um, because then it, it'll stay clean and crisp and you can take that to the paint store and they'll color match it. But you're better off with the paint chip if you can do it. All right. So we're going to get started and we're going to talk about our game plan. We're, we're actually doing a Tidy Tutor, um, you know, with help thing going on here. This is the first time I've done this. It was kind of, you know, just the spur of the mo moment inspirational idea. And anybody that's involved in this, you really are really, really fortunate for a few reasons. One, you get to, you know, be on the ground floor of it. And another reason is that this down the road is going to be a paid product. It's going to be like, you know, like personal coaching, um, you know, getting me more concentrated than other times. I mean, you know, I am very active on our personal Facebook page, and that is... For people that are in TTU, you know, anybody that's been, that, that has joined Tidy Tutor University, one of the perks is that you get in that private Facebook group and you also get me pretty active in there. Um, but it really is, it's very personal, right? Um, well, this is one step above that. This is a real concentrated effort for people who really, who want to have more than just the um, do-it-yourself, which is what Tiny Tutor University is. It really is like a do-it-yourself um, system that, you know, you, you take the course that we do and there's, um, there's the month that you get in Tiny Tutor Insiders where you have more support, but this is even more than that. This is for when you know that if you don't have somebody to report to, if you don't have a game plan other than yourself, this is why a lot of people don't like to take online college courses because yeah, it's a heck of a lot easier and you know, you don't have to leave the house and you, you know, it's great. But if you aren't the kind of person that'll motivate yourself to actually do what you got to do when you got to do it, you know, you know that you can't take advantage of that. You got to show up to class. So that's kind of what this is. It's like showing up to class. It's somebody saying, um, you know, I, I want to be serious. I'm, I want the help. Okay, so we're going to move on. 
All right, so my goal in this is like what I always wanted for so many years. And even sometimes, like I will contact my mentor and I'll say, you know, I am really overwhelmed with everything that I'm doing. And she'll, you know, talk to me and, and get me through some things. And this is kind of like what I was thinking. I was saying, since I always wanted this, well, why don't I offer it? How great would this be? So my goal is that, um, you know, sometimes, you know, when we get into our car, we open the door and it spills onto the ground and we say, um, you know, we say, oh my God, nobody should live this way. We know when we've gotten to that point that, you know, man, I, I just need somebody to hold my hand. And that was, that's part of this. Another part of it is just that we need each other. And another part is what I talked about last time was uh, last week was that, you know, women generally nowadays, we don't get to talk. We don't get to be with each other like we used to. We don't get um, the support that we did. And women need that. And they found that heart disease has risen because of it. And so this is just another another step, another added bonus uh, and another added, um, you know, available I don't know, company? I don't know what the word is. Help me out. Anybody that can help me out, you know I'd appreciate it. Okay, so here's the letter that's going to go out today to everyone, all right? it's um, This is what it says. It says, my darling friend, except, of course, it'll be your name. Um, I can hardly wait to get started with you next week. We have committed to getting stuff done, and that is exactly what we're going to do. I want to share a few important details with you in preparation for our head start to the holidays. One, we're going to have a virtual meeting, which will be held every Tuesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, that's the, the time that I chose because 9 o'clock Eastern Time, if you're in the United States, it's good because normally at that time, everybody's kind of like put to bed and, and you have some time to do that. It'll only about be about 30 minutes, and it's just once a week. And so if you're in the mid, you know, in the Midwest, then it's 8 o'clock. And if you're all the way in um, on the west coast then um it's six o'clock so you know it kind of like i think can work for everybody people that are working or home from work and so that's why i chose nine o'clock now if you're in other parts of the world which you know, i have many people in way other parts of the world this might not be so great it will be recorded um you know there's nothing i could really do about that sorry um our first group meeting was going to be october 1st and that's when we're going to talk about our game plan and our goals. And I really want to open it up to everybody. I want everybody to have a chance to, you know, talk and to say how they feel and what's going on and all of that. So, um, you know, so that's going to happen. I want us to, I want everybody to have a chance to just have a couple of minutes, introduce yourselves, because I really would like to do something um, down the road where I would assign a partner. You know, and so maybe we can, you know, like have a part, change up partners every month. You know, this month's partner, you're Lacey's partner. Um, next month's partner, you're Marianne's partner. Next month, it's um, Patricia's. Next month, it's Paula's, you know. Next month, it's it's Mary's. Next month, you know what I mean? So, so this way, we get to, you know, experience each other, see who really gels together, and then... Then you can all decide, you know, who you want to stick with or, you know, if you don't want to do it anymore. But I think that would be really great to have somebody, one person that you could say, I just want to dump out this big pot of hot water. I don't want to take this bucket and I don't want to wash this floor and just have that to shoot to somebody that, you know, they're going to be there in a text message or something to say, just freaking wash the floor already. You know, count. It'll take you 30 seconds. I actually counted this morning when I folded my clothes and it took me under 120 seconds, which is under, and you know, that's not really two minutes because when you're counting, you're going one, two, three, four, you're not doing it the way seconds go. So it was probably one minute is what it took me to fold an entire, you know, basket of laundry that, you know, came out of the washing machine. I mean, the dryer as I was folding them. Okay. Um, so let's see. I, you know, I want you to mark your calendar so that you don't forget to register for these, um, you know, these meetings. Um, all right. Now we're all of, all of what's going to happen is the, all of the magic is going to happen inside of TT Insiders in our, in our forum. Now I'm not really sure. I have to hear from Lacey. I'm not really sure, but I think that we can post pictures in there 
and um, also that I want to have another tab in our um, in our Tidy Tutor Insiders for um, our zone work and for our weekly plans. So it could just be one that just says weekly plan and one that says zone work. And this way you can click on that and you can report, you know, you could say, you know, my zone this week is this, I'm doing it now. And um, you'll, you won't be alone, right? We'll be all, you'll be with somebody else who's doing, they might be on a different zone, but they're working on their zone. And the same thing with, um, this is my gopher day, you know, my um, errand day, this is my desk day. And you could just put a little something in there. Now, remember, this is not something to, you know, talk about, you know, how you don't feel well or if what's going on in your life. That's for your private, personal Facebook thing. This is, you know, strictly business, all right? Because we, we you know, this is, we are, we have a goal. We don't want to get distracted. And we want, you know, we, we want results. And if we start putting things in there like that, then other people are going to feel obligated to respond and to answer and to say, I don't want anybody to feel like they have to say, great job, Mary Beth, you know, awesome. Because it can get, I've done this before in different support groups. And what ends up happening is you feel like you need to go through everybody's thing that they did before so that you don't offend anybody and so that you don't like forget about you know oh great job you know Lindy Lou how wonderful for you you know um, Sarah oh I'm so great that that happened for you you know Marsha and then you feel like oh my god this sucks I don't want to do this anymore so I really, really want to make sure, I want to emphasize that that's not the purpose of this. We all know that we're glancing through what everybody's doing. It's fine to mention somebody. Don't be offended if you're not mentioned. And, um, you know, just know that, you know, we're there. You, you're going to have a partner. So it's not like nobody's going to notice. And certainly I will. Okay. All right. So um, if, you're, if you're brand new to Tidy Tutor University, please, or if you have never done it before, friend request me. It's the only way that I could get you in the um, private Facebook group. So please friend request me. And then you have to private message me because I accept everybody in the world's friend request. I don't ever say no to anybody. So I don't really check and, and I don't really say, all right, wait, is this one of my students? I just say yes and then that's it. It would be, it was just much easier for me if you just private message me after I friend request you and say, please add me in the Facebook group. And this way, nothing will get, you know, through the cracks, okay? Um, I'm going to put the program calendar on and other information inside of our forum. So anything that's coming up or anything, or anything that we, that I have, you know, planned is going to be in our forum. Um, and so, you know, I'm really excited about this. And so that's that. All right, so that's the letter that's going to be going out, okay? All right. Now, this is what we did last week on the webinar that we are planning to do from November 1st, I mean, from October 1st to November 30th. Is it November 30th? 30 days has September, April, June, and November. Yes, November 30th. So to recap what we were doing, the plan of action for this month. Now, remember, you're still taking the course. It's not like you're not doing the things, you know, like the, the um, first four habits or if you are, you know, well into the course and you have done it all. We're still doing that. This is just something that we are doing um, in a concentrated, you know, effort. All right. So if you're just getting started, this is an absolute. Okay. If you are a seasoned, you know, TTU alumni, then, and you're, you know, you're just saying, oh my God, I just want to start from scratch. Then oh, awesome. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Um, if you're just, if you really are getting your shit together and everything is fine and you just want to like, you know, go through this because, you know, maybe you haven't gotten to your bedroom yet, or maybe, you know, I'm using a different room for, for this because my bedroom's fine. Although I am doing the summer things in there because I still have summer clothes in there. My bedroom's fine. We are, um, whoever's been with me, you know, we have been working on our bedroom. So, you know, pick a different room. All right. So that's, you know, that's something that, that is happening now. So this is kind of like a concentrated effort, but it doesn't mean that you're, you know, throwing everything else that you know out the door. All right. So we're going to gather all our summer stuff and summer storage. And this is especially good for anybody that even is uh, an alumni, because this is definitely your first summer. 
with Tidy to the University. So you are now establishing, you know, new guide guidelines, new boundaries, new um, new storage areas, new practices. So this is what you're doing for every um, every season that comes up now. And now we're at the end of summer. So that's what we're doing, right? Gathering all our summer stuff, getting that together. If anybody has any comments, please, um, you know, join in. Um, you're going to employ three new habits. Um, now, if these aren't new habits for you, you are just making sure that these things are absolutely being done now, okay? Dishes, make sure they are absolutely clean and out of the sink or, uh, or in the dishwasher when you go to bed. Um, laundry is, uh, is completely, you know, doing that whole laundry cycle. And you're going to say no during this month. You're very concentrated. It's like you're taking a course, okay? And you have homework and you have assignments and there's not a hell of a lot of time for a lot of other stuff this month, okay? Um, you're going to recognize the snags in your day and set a plan for that, okay? So walk through your house and, you know, if you haven't done this yet, do it now. And if you've done it before, look around and see if there's anything else you need to uh, get together. Um, there was something that happened with me recently that, oh, I know, um, that I didn't even realize was that one of the things that I always did was I always took my summer shoes and I put them in the attic because I always lived in a place that I had to do that. Well, I realized that after living in this house for, uh, what, 13 years now, I don't have to do that. I keep my shoes under my bed in three of those rubber made, you know, like, you know, under bed bins. And so, well, this year I did do it. Um, my winter boots I have in there, you know, like my, my leather high boots and all of that kind of stuff that I wear that are leather kind of wintry shoes, I can keep under my bed. I just put them at the head of the bed and not the foot of the bed. Now I rotate them the other way. For years and years, I was bringing them up to the attic because that's what I was used to doing. So you may, while you're walking around, you know, kind of recognize that you're, you've been doing the same thing over and over that you didn't need to do. And you need to uh, maybe get another area for something that you didn't think of before. So, you know, do that. Um, we're going to be decluttering our house during this time. Now, people on the webinar, they just got like a little piece of what it was that, um, you know, decluttering is. But you guys got the whole nine yards. So... This is great for you. You know, when you get into session two, you will, um, you will, you know, that's where all the decluttering happens. It's, you know, it's the major portion of session two. Um, and if you are not at session two yet, it's fine because we still are between October 1st and the 1st of um, December, November, we're going through and we're really looking at things and saying, what do I do? What do I not need? What do I not like? And we're doing it in a concentrated way in a certain area of the house. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're decluttering. We've got to get rid of stuff and um, we're doing bedroom detail. All right. If you are not, um, if your bedroom is not the sanctuary you want it to be, you're going to make it that way this month. Okay. And you're going to report in our forum, about what's going on in your bedroom, you know, and you're going to have us there rooting on you, rooting you on because it's necessary. You want to wake up, you know, during the Hanukkah season feeling good in your heart and feeling lovely or on Christmas morning, you know, on Thanksgiving, you, you don't want to trip out of your room. We want a different freaking life, holy mackerel. And we have to make that happen. It doesn't just happen. Now, um, if you're, if you were on the call, I don't know if you are, but if you were on the, I have to write a letter to somebody. I have to look in my notes. Um, somebody was talking about, I had a question on the um, webinar about, um, about their coat rack. They said that when they first, you know, started with me, they did do what I said and put some hooks up and it's now becoming overly grown with things. And I said, get more hooks. You know, I have several, I have like, um, I think like 10 by my side door. And, but this, but, and then she said, you know, something about a coat rack, but this is what I wanted to mention. And if this is you, or if, you know, every, if, usually if there's one question, there's, there's a hundred, um, you you might have way too many coats. Like how many coats do you have? You really have to rethink the amount of things that you own. Maybe, you know, how many shoes do people need? You really sometimes have to step back and say, I have too much stuff, you know, really during the winter months, you know, maybe two jackets, 
a dress coat and then and and for purses you know black brown and white the thing is is that you want to have a whole you know you want to have that one funky purse go ahead you know do that if you have plenty of storage space and room for things and if you're not going into debt for it, then all right, go ahead then, fine. That's fine too, I guess. But if you don't have room for this stuff and or you're gonna go into debt to buy this stuff, then um, you know we've talked so much on Tidy Tutor um, Facebook page about how we are tr you know, so often trying to fill up the, what's not happy with the purchases of things. And then we buy the things that makes us happy for that second, but then we feel so guilty for buying it that's often it stays with the tags on it because we can't bring ourselves to use it or it just makes us unhappy because it's cluttering up our life. So you really may have to rethink, you know, if you think about it this way, you might say to yourself, but that's not right. I want to have more choices. I want to have more stuff. Well, if you don't have room for it, then too bad. You can't. And the thing that you have to remember is that the great thing about that is that next year you can get new stuff. Like if you know that you're going to buy tons of jackets this year, then don't. And then know that next year you'll get a, you'll get something new again instead of tons of stuff that you barely wear. And then next year you're going to want tons of stuff again. So like just have a different mindset set about it. Like that's that's fine. I'll have my the jacket I wear with my jeans, the jacket I wear for dress, and then, you know, just another coat because I want another coat for like when it's really, you know, cold out and, you know, maybe I want something with fur around my face or something cool. That's all you need. If you have more than that, you have too much. And then just think about how fun it'll be next year you get to get something new if that's the, the thing. I don't, I don't get a new coat every year, but that's my thing. All right, let's see. Mary Beth has a question. Kathy, do you still want us to do Zorn work throughout October? Is concentrated on the bedroom at this time? Yes, I still do. Because if you're really working the system the way you're supposed to work the system, that zone work isn't overwhelming. Now, for one thing, the zone work is going to be your dejunking area anyway, because we will be dejunking. So if you have already dejunked, you know, you're going to, one of the things we're doing this month is we're decluttering, right? So the week that you're in, the zone week that you're in, that's the one that you're going to choose for the dejunking. So you're going, so that would, that'll be the decluttering part. Um, if you've already decluttered, then um, that, that zone, that area, then um, you're going to clean it. And if you do it according to, you know, the, the rules, it isn't overwhelming. It's not too much. So you should be able to do this. Um, if your bedroom really is like, if you know that like, well, I'm going to just switch my bedroom zone for this month, then that's absolutely fine. I mean, for this, but see, it's weekly that we do that anyway. So, you know, like we, we do a zone a week. So, you know, think about it yourself. Um, you know, think it through a little bit. You know your room better than I do as far as, you know, the condition that it's in. Um, when we were in the forum, it's definitely a question that could be brought up. And um, Lacey will let me know if we can put pictures in there. I hope we can. Um, if we can't, we can just put them in our Facebook group and, um, you know, and, and just, you know, put a note in there. Go to our Facebook group. And I got a picture in there of this. Um, let's see. I have a note. Let's, oh, Lacey. Oh, Lacey says, yes, we can. Oh, oh, sorry about that. I know that was embarrassing. Um, if they have a URL for the picture, so they can only if they have a URL for the picture. Um, all right. Well, I don't know if everybody's going to know how to do that. I guess we can teach them how to do that. It's not like brain surgery, you know, um, I, I do it all the time. <laughs> so if I could do it, you could do it. So I guess we'll, you know, we'll get more into detail with that as we go along. All right. Um, Sarah said, dang, I was going to sign up for that a $10 a month. I didn't know. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sarah. I've said it so many times. I'm so sorry. But you know what? 30 bucks a month is still freaking a bargain. It really is it's still a bargain. Um, all right. Let's see. Mary Beth, Kathy, do you still want to say, okay, we got that. We got that going on with the whole zone work thing. You know, we'll, we'll we'll settle that as time goes, but I think you could probably, um, 
you know, probably feel it out, but fine. All right, Patricia's smiling. Um, all right, Lacey said I'll work on it. And Sarah's laughing. Hopefully you're laughing about the price going up. All right, so now we're going to move to the next page. Um, all right, my idea, this was on in our webinar, my idea, if you're serious, intense support, instruction, accountability, intense help from me, you're not alone, and that's what this is. Isn't it exciting? Okay. Um, all right, we're going to see another one. Oh, it's, <laughs> Anna said, snap, I totally scored. She really did. She really did. She actually sent me a check in the mail. She sent me a check for three months worth of, um, and she's going to send me, because that's the way she wanted to pay. So she said, before this $10 a month goes away, I'm sending you a check, and she did. All right. Um, all right, so now I want to talk about our system, all right? And we're going to talk about Trello right now. I mentioned it before. I know many people on this call have heard of it, and many people haven't. Now, these two boxes, look, this one is in a hell of a mess, right? It's my box from, I've had this, this box, because this is the way the system used to work originally. It worked in a card box, and I still have my two boxes. This was my original box back from, um, it's got to be 20 years old. All right, that's how old this is. Um, this is another one that I made um, because this one bothered me that the lid wasn't a stay on lid. And when I moved to New Jersey um, back, I don't know when I made this. I think I moved, actually, I made this when I moved into the little apartment. Um, and that was, oh gosh, maybe five years ago or something. So this is five years old. This system worked beautifully in the card box. I actually prefer it to the book only because um, each, see how this is like this, our, our journal is like this, and, and you know we have the dry erase marker we could cross off. Well, in the box, what each card was, was one of these. So it would say gift, one card, make bed, another card, clothes and dryer, another card. And each one of these was a day of the month, and so when you did a card, as soon as you did it, you moved it to the next day. You moved it to the next day. You see what I mean? So I like that. It was like a real sense of accomplishment. But the reason that I don't teach this and I don't, I'm not a proponent of it is for several reasons. Well, maybe just two. One reason is it absolutely has to be kept up with every single day. If you don't keep up with it every single day, it becomes a very big chore to then sit down and arrange because the cards were done. Blue was weekly, white was monthly, yellow was daily, pink was personal, and you had to have them all, you know, filed appropriately. Another reason that I, I don't go for this as far as teaching it and using it, I don't use it anymore, is because if it fell over, it was death to the plan, man. You, you were like, holy mackerel. It didn't fall over very many, many times, but let me tell you, it, it did fall over sometimes, and it's just not worth it. So this does work beautifully. We, we all know that. Um, but what I have discovered is something called Trello. And I have just, I've been working on this diligently, let me tell you, this is not <laughs> this is not an easy process, and everybody in Tuttle University will absolutely benefit from this. Um, I'm going to put it on our session three when we build our binder. I, this does not do away with the binder. Okay, we need the binder. The binder is still so very important. We need hard copies of things. We need our planner in the back of it. We need our A to Z dividers in this. We need we need to have this. Um, this daily routine thing, all of these things, and the, we need these, okay? I'm not saying that we don't, um, but we need this too, because this is a fabulous way to do this system in uh, like an electronic card box. In, in reality, um, Trello calls these little things cards. So I call these, these are like three by five cards. Now let me show you, I'm going to have to get out of this and I'm going to go into Trello because I want to show you how this is going to work. Okay. Um, this is our weekly plan. 
Now, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to send you all of this, and all you have to do is plug it in. You don't have to do all of the work that I did. So, and I'm going to walk you through getting a Trello account. It's free, okay? This is a free product, and anybody could use it. And you could change the color. I changed mine to purple. Um, you, it's, it starts as blue. So, um, you, this is our weekly plan right here. So, this would be what is the um, the equivalency of this. You see these, these little, the thing that we have in our binder? This is the equivalency of this, our weekly plan, all right? So that's what this is. This is our zone focus, all right? So at Monday is my free day. Tuesday is my desk day. Wednesday is my once over day. Thursday is my loose end day. Friday is my errand day. Sunday is my family day. And Saturday is my... Um, what, do I have this out of order? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Let me, oh, this is, um, this is not this. All right, wait, here, this, okay. Yeah, I do. So let me move this card. All right, see how great you can move the cards? So Sunday, so these are my days, and this is my routines, and these are my goals. So what, in actuality, these are pages in your binder, all right? Now, please believe me. This doesn't make the binder obsolete. We still need the binder, all right? And you'll see why as, you know, you begin to use the system. All right, so now let me show you what happens. Ready? When I click on my week one, if I was on week one and I'm on the entrance entranceway, you click on that, this is the back of the card, okay? It's as if you turned it over. And there's a checklist here. And so my week one is my my zone for week one is my entrance and my foyer and so here is everything I have to do in my checklist for my entrance way and here is everything I have to do see we have a page in our binder I'm so sorry for anybody in here that is brand new to TTU and you haven't gotten to this yet you know forgive me for this but you get a general idea of what is coming up for you so in your binder, we have the detailed cleaning list, you know, typed out that we cross off. Well, what we do here is we click and see it crosses it off that we've done it. Wash the floors. So, and it says how many are here. Where, what is it? There's 32 items. All right. So we can divide. We can say, all right, well, this week I have 32 things to do. Seven divided by 32 is what? Seven, 14, 21, 32, four, five, five. Oh my God, help me. Somebody help me. What's seven divided by 32? Um, thank you. Everybody's coming in with their math thing. Four and a half, Lacey said. Five is best, Kathleen said. Okay. All right. So then we would say, all right, we need to do five things a day so that this entranceway and foyer this week has gotten a beautiful cleaning and it's done, that we're done with this zone. So, and this is only, of course, if you are on the detail cleaning and not de-junking, because first we de-junk, then we detail clean in our zones. So, and this is another way you can, um, you know, delegate the same thing. But, you know, that's why we really like the um, dry erase thing, where you can dry erase the, the marker thing, because then you can put that up and have, have the list there for people to do that's in your family. And you, if you live with people and you could say, I want you to take care of the entertainment devices in the, um, there's no entertainment devices in an entrance way. Is there? Let's delete that. Okay. So that's how this works. And I'm going to do um, a tutorial with how this works. All right. Um, you know, on an intern to the university. So, and so here is your routine, your morning routine. This is the back of the card. See what I mean? Morning routine, after work routine, evening routine. Okay. So there, look at this. So here is the morning routine. This is what I've done today. All right. And I've, cl I've clucked off of these. Obviously I didn't exercise and I didn't think about God this morning. Um, so these are the things that I did and you click them off as you go. And so when you're done, you know, you're done. And then you have your after work routine and it's all in here and you click it when you're, when you're done your evening routine. Okay. And then I have um, what I call a successful tomorrow routine. And these are the things that makes tomorrow great. So, so there, there we go. So, and then here's my goals. Right. These are what the goals are and the back of the card. I do. I did it. I did it. I did it. See what I mean? 
This is excellent. I hope you guys are liking this because it's so much fun. Now, I have one that I call stuff. And this is, you know, I added this to a card. So let me show you real quickly how this works. Um, all right, Mar yes, this is this is great. We need to figure something out with meal planning. Um, we probably can. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. Now, this one that's stuff is um, this is what I call this card. This card, I mean, this board. These are called boards, and each thing inside it is a card. So it's like each one of these is a bulletin board, and you have three by five cards stuck to each one of them. And then on the back of each card, you have little details about what has to be done for that card. Now, say this one I called stuff, right? So, so say say you're online and um, or you're thinking of something and you have to write it down. Write it down in here. Um, you know your um, your you know whatever you have. Like um, make sure you um, cancel um that debit for um what for go to webinar all right so say that say you did a go to webinar free for a month and you want to cancel it you want to make sure you cancel it so you'll put that here and if you have anything that you want to say about it in the back you can now something else that's great about this is that you can add people to this so if, say you have, you, you want somebody to, to do it, you can put somebody in here, drag them over. It doesn't look like I can do it. I'll do it in another one. Wait, let's see. Um, boards. All right, this is a board that I'm involved in, this one. And all of these people are in it. And see how I'm in some of them? I'm in this one, I'm in this one. Because I don't do everything here. This is a video marketing um, program that somebody's working on and I'm involved in. So here I am. It's something I had to do here, something I had to do here. These are other people that are in the group. So all they have to do is drag the person over and let it go. And that's where they are. See? So I'll take her out of there. How do I do that? I'll remove from card. Okay. See? So this is something that is just, you know, it's really pretty amazing. So if you have, um, if this could be work, you could use this for work, of course, that's what this is used for. And so then you hit boards and you can have all different kinds of boards. Um, this board is uh, my Tidy Tutor Life at Home board. So that's what this is. All right. So um, another thing that you could use stuff for is what we use for in our binder um, for um, you know, when you're planning a party or you're having people over, one of the good things about doing it on here is sometimes you'll get quotes from people online. So you'll want to have, um, you know, their, their information on here, their URL, their contact information, and it's really easy. You can copy and paste it in there. I still recommend having the notebook for that section too. Many reasons. One, a lot of things are done on paper. People come by a lot of times with estimates and they hand you an estimate. You'll have that for that whatever it is that you're working on. If you go somewhere, if you stop at a restaurant and you say, you know what, I like this place, they're going to give you a, um, a, you know, a, a menu and stuff. You're going to leave that place with something. So you want to have a place in your binder with a pocket file where you could take that paper and that information, any receipts that you get for a something product or I mean some some kind of a um, something that you're doing, a project. That's the word I was looking for. Some kind of a project that you're working on. You get that and you stick it in there. And there you go. How great is that? So. Um, so you definitely need your binder also for things, but say you're going to have um, your um, surprise party. All right, so I spelled surprise wrong. So surprise party. And so on the back, you would write um, Eros Cafe, and maybe I would want to do it as a checklist. So I'd do add checklist, and then I'd add it. And then I'd say, um, oh, I hate when that happens. I'd say... Um, Eros Cafe, no, here I would say um, places. So I'd add that, and then I would say, where do I want to check? I want to check Eros Cafe. I want to check um, Paisanos. I want to check, um, you know, Porky's. <laughs> I want to 
let's check Porky's. All right, so now you have this here, and so that you can, you know, say, all right, I checked Eros, I checked Paisanos, I checked Porky's, and then you can put details in here. All right, so this is just, you know, it's a great, this is a fabulous freaking free thing. And the only reason anybody would ever want this to pay for is if you are doing it like a corporation or something. So, all right, that, oh, that's all right, Sarah. It'll be recorded. I know it's going on pretty long. Sorry. Um, okay, so Sarah had to leave. All right, so I'll move this along here. All right, so the next thing that I want to talk about is um, we're going to, there's going to be new videos and there's going to be a new site. Um, the, it's going to be called Tidy Tutor Insiders, actually ttinsiders.com, and we are crossing our fingers, me and Lacey, that we'll have it completed. I'm saying we, like she's the one really working on it by um, by the first. And so this, like Tidy Tutor, Tidy Tutor.com, is absolutely still there, and everything that is there still there. But when we go into our, um, you know, our private group, where you know our Tidy Tutor University, our Tidy Tutor in a Nutshell, Coffee Talk, Habits, all of the things that are, you know, private to us, then it's going to be in, that it's going to be in here. One of the good, one of the reasons I did this is because it's not very mobile friendly on Tidy Tutor, um, tidytutor.com, and it will be here where people will be able to log in, you know, log in here because it's, it's um, kind of impossible to log in from Tidy Tutor um, dot com just because of the way it's worked out for um, for for the phones okay so this is how you'll be able to log in with a phone and um, also get you know all of the information still on your phone because we all know that you know we, sometimes we like to listen to this stuff when we're not sitting down and that's kind of what you have to do when you're at the computer all right so um, I'm gonna have new videos on on here showing you around because it's going to be you know slightly different um and so i think that's it i think that's it that's the you know kind of like the introduction of what's going to happen on the first i'm going to send out that email today you're going to have a place to register and, and a little calendar of events and stuff you'll be able to get into our tidy tutor forum we'll be able to find out everything um, remember that you're going to go into the forum to find things out. I'm not going to be sending out all kinds of emails because everything that we need to know is going to be right in here. So I don't want anybody to say, you know, well, I didn't know about that. It's, you know, it's your job to go. It's like if you're taking a class, the teacher's not going to come to the front door and hand you the work. You have to actually go there. So this is all you have to do, right? You have to go here. All right. And so that's what we've got going on. So, you know, keep this in mind, all right? Because that's what we're, this is our game plan for the month of October, plus, um, you know, plus all of our accountability and our partners and all of that, all right? All right, so that's the end of this call. I'm so happy, everybody loves it. Um, if anybody has any questions, please ask me. Anyone, anyone? Now, if you're not in, Tiny Tutor Insiders yet, um, then that means that you can't participate unless you are. Now, I just raised the price, and I, you know, I did tell everybody I was going to raise the price. Um, I, I think what, what I'll do is, and Lacey might want to kick me because she just freaking changed this so that it might be a pain in the neck, but, you know, maybe I can, if I, because the $10 a month is what it is you know, it's not going to change for whoever it is now. And so if, if anybody wants to, wants in, then, um, email me. All right, let me see. If, um, if Lacey says that we can do this, then, um, you know, I'll do $10 a month. So there's that. All right. Um, okay. Um, Patricia said, wow, lots of new stuff. Thank you. It's been exciting. And now it's, it's great new stuff. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, Lacey said, yes, no problem. Woo, all right, Lacey, you're the bomb. So just email me, all right, Kathy at thetidytutor.com, and um, and I'll just shoot it over to, the, the, to our girl, who I love so much. And um, so how about that, all right? It's fine. It works. It's great. And um, so just email me.
All right, let's see. Terry here came in late, was outside working. Look forward to seeing the entire coffee talk. Thank you. Loving it. Okay. All right. Can't, can't wait to see Trello. All right. Wonderful. All right, Terry, did you hear about, I think, Terry, are you in TTU? I think, I mean, Terry Tutor Insiders, I believe you are anyway, right? Um, because, yes. Um, okay, great. All right. All right. Yahoo! <laughs> okay, so I look forward to hearing from you, and um, I'll send out that email right away, and um, how exciting we will get together on the first, and it's going to be so much fun. All right. Um, will you see what we accomplish? Um, no, I won't see what you accomplish on Trello. Trello is your own personal thing. That's your own board. That's, you know, it's a personal, you know, board of yours. You can go on Trello.com and, um, you know, sign up for one. And I'm going to do a tutorial that will show you how to use it because, you know, it took me a while on YouTube to figure it out. So this way I'll do, you'll just cut to the chase. But, of course, play with it if you want to. Um, I'll only see what you accomplished with that what you want to show me on the boards. Okay? All right. Okay, I'm gonna sign out now. Thank you so much for showing up. And um I'll see you soon. Okay? All right. Oh good. Suzanne loves the changes. Welcome. Peace, baby girl. All right. <laughs> I love you, Terry. How great is this? We're so fun, aren't we? I love us. I'm gonna start planning our um our retreat now for the summer so that um, everybody has lots of time to um, do it and I'll have time to research where we should be. All right, it'd probably be the Jersey Shore. Okay, all right, all right, take care. And if anybody wants to like send me suggestions of what month that they'd like the best, I, you know, I think, you know, I would really like September, but it's tough for people that have kids to be in September, you know, um, maybe, you know, August. I know if you have kids anyway, it's tough, but you know, you can get away and at least your kids aren't in school. You don't have any real responsibility to take them places and stuff. So I was thinking maybe August of next year. Okay. Um, let's see one thing. Um, uh, Mary Beth said, thank you for all the work you're doing. Much appreciated. Oh, you're welcome. It is a passion and you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to do it. All right. Okay, you're welcome, you're welcome. All right, I'm going to sign out now.